Hi again, everyone. It's almost time for the kickoff. Al Michaels here to bring you this one with my partner, John Madden. This defense has been watching extra. You have called tails. <coughs> Seattle has won the toss and chooses the kick. The crowd is ready. The teams are ready. So let's get tonight's game going. Number nine. Looks like he's just about ready to kick this one off. Number 33, deep to the sea. He sends this one toward the end zone. And he signals for the fair catch. Interference with fair catch. Number 26, kicking team. The receiver needs to be given space to catch a ball. First and ten. License number 4CJ71P. Please return to your car immediately. The Colts using motion. Switch! Switch! Looking to pass. Manning throws. Robertson with the stop at the 34. The quarterback showed you his great arm on that pass. This guy can really move. He turns things up two or three notches when it really counts. That's the kind of thing you love to see as a coach. Guys who have that second and third gear. Over there, over there. Set. Go back, go back, watch your middle. Cut. Big play, big play. Cut, cut. 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 Manning with the throw, and he stopped Number at 18, the 28-yard line. Game of six on the plus. Six-yard game. Second and four coming up here. Penalty marker down. Encroachment. Defense. And he jumps the snap count. The defense needs to concentrate better than that. Nothing frustrates a coach more than a penalty like that. What have you heard, Melissa? <laughs> I spoke with Coach Holmgren during warm-ups. He told me that his team was rested and eager to play. They've been looking forward to this game all week, Al. That was Melissa Stark with her sideline report. The offense lines up with splitbacks behind the quarterback. Number 36 to carry it, and the defender brings him down at the 24. He was cut down quickly. He was waiting for something to develop, and whap, he got developed. Two extra defensive backs. The defense is in the dime. Man in motion. He's looking upfield. Looking for blockers. And he's tackled at the 18. Pickup of about five. Five yards to go. Wayne in motion. Looking downfield. Looking downfield with the throw. And he's in for the score. Touchdown. Great timing on that touchdown throw. And that's one of those passes we see a lot when the quarterback releases it, the receiver's not even looking. But then he looks up and the ball's right there. Set. The kick is up. And he tacks on the extra point. And so they turn that drive into a great one as it ends with a touchdown. They did everything they had to on that one. And the end result is a trip across the goal line and a TD on the board. Vanderjack will be kicking off. He sends it off. Bannister returns this kick. This is where you want to be able to respond. We also don't want to panic because it's only the first quarter. So they have first and ten here. Four linemen and three linebackers lined up defensively. Dilfer with the throw, and they're able to connect on that one. He really lets it fly. When you have a guy with a quick release like this, it can really frustrate the pass run. Seems like he always gets rid of it just before they can get to him. Call. And the 
defender brings him down at the 37-yard line. And that's a good gain up the middle for the first. Nothing fancy either. He just goes right at the defense to move those right. chains. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 37. Set. The Seahawks are in the offset eye formation. Oh. Looking to turn it upfield. Looking for an opening. And the defender brings him down at the 49-yard line. The first set of downs after a nice pickup on the ground. Hey, nice job up front. Holding that block and allowing him to get a good run for a first down. First and 10. Ball on their own 49. Only one man in the backfield. They'll go with the run. Breaks free. And he stopped at the 49-yard line. That run won't move them far. The lineman just failed to open up any holes to run through or give them room to work with. Seven yards to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. Back to pass. Tosses it right. And it's caught. And he's brought down at the 43. He really zips that pass in there. Hey, I think we need to get this guy's throws on a radar gun. That thing had a vapor print. So they're almost within their kicker's range. Free of the defender and a pickup of about two. Right. They're just about in field goal range. Ball on the 40 yard line. Set. Only uh, one man uh, uh, runs up the middle. And he stopped at the 35. So that play goes for about six. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 35-yard line. Dilfer under center. Drops back. Throwing. Nice completion. And he stops at the 29-yard line. That reception moves the chains, and they pick up a first down. And as a receiver, you have to be ready for any type of pass. He did a good job of hanging on to that last one because it got there in a hurry. So they have first and ten here. The Seahawks are in the offset eye uh, formation. They'll go with a pass. Picked off. It's intercepted. He's to the 40. The 40. The 30. The 20. The 10. These guys are usually a little more careful than that out there. Extra point is good. He is good. Vanderjack is just about ready to kick this one away. He kicks it off. Bannister will try to bring this one back. Their last drive ended with a pick, and the offense right now ready to call their first play on this drive. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 19. Set Alexander, right. the deep back, looking for blockers. And he's tackled at the 22. They went back to the run on that play. That just goes to show you that the coach trusts the guy to hang on to the right. ball. About six to go. Set. Dilfer sets up. Cut. Looking downfield. He's looking, passing to his right. Jackson can't come up with it on that attempt. Dilfer fires a bullet, but nobody comes up with it. He just threw that pass too hard. 
The receiver might have caught up with the ball if he used a little more touch. About six to go. Ball on their own 22. He's looking to pass. He surveys the field, passes it. The defender broke that play up. He couldn't have thrown that pass any harder. He tried to thread the needle there. It's fourth down and six yards to go. Ball on their own 22. With an extra DB, the defense is in the nickel. Stepping up, he surveys the field. Intercepted. First and ten. With two extra defensive backs, the defense is in the dime. Looking for a receiver. Hits his man with the pass. Perfect spiral on that pass. Even the receiver was surprised how quickly that one got to him. That's the kind of thing you just hope you can hang on to as it goes by. He's looking to pass with the throw, and they're able to connect on that one. Springs makes the stop at the 11. And so he was able to fire that one to his receiver, converting for a first down. Passes like that have been known to dislocate receiver's fingers. He might want to double check and make sure he can move them all. Using motion. Take him, take him. Pass, pass, pass. They'll go with a pass. Surveying the field. Passes it. The defender broke that play up. That goal falls incomplete. He never looked comfortable in the pocket on that pass. Right. Ball inside the 10. The Seahawks are in the offset eye formation. And they keep it on the ground for the score. That is a big time run right there. Right. Set. And it's on its way. And he tacks on the extra point. Well, they began with great field position and took full advantage by getting a touchdown out of it. Hey, that's just a great job by the offense. They see the defense on their heels, defending such a short field, and they go right at him for the score. Vanderjack is just about ready to kick this one away. He gets the kick away. Williams will bring this one upfield. An interception brought the last drive to an abrupt end. They'll do a better job, I think, of protecting the ball this time around. First and ten. Set, cut. Dropping back. Dilfer rolls right. He surveys the field. Throws it. He hits his receiver. And he stops at the 50. He does a nice job bringing in the pass. This guy's just like a gunslinger. He's never in a position where he thinks the throw's impossible. Right. So they have first and ten here. Set. Cut. Alexander looking for a seam. Morris makes the stop at the 46-yard line. He's looking to pass. Looking for a receiver. Passing to his right. And he makes the grab. The 20. Mealy brings down the high throw for a first down. You know with this receiver, you can throw it anywhere. You throw it high, high and behind him. Right. He'll go get it, just like he did there. So they have first and 10 here. Set. Four linemen and three linebackers lined up defensively. Johnson created problems in the backfield on that play. Thank you. 
And we've reached the two-minute mark here in the first half. They're inside the 15. Set. Cut. Look in the throw. Dilfer throws it over the middle. Number 28 stopped him for his third tackle so far. He put everything he had behind that throw. That's one way to make sure your receiver doesn't drop the ball. You throw it so hard that he has to catch it in self-defense. You just put it right on him. First down and goal to go. Ball one foot away. And this is the fifth play of this drive. the goal line. Yep, he just lowered his shoulders and got the short yardage that they needed. Set. The kick is up. The extra point attempt is good. Number nine, in to kick this one off. Number nine to kick off. Number 85 and number 33. He sends this one toward the end zone. The returner takes the ball and goes upfield. Let's see if they can have the same sort of success on this position that they had in their last, picking up a lot of yardage through the air on their way to a score. First and ten. From the gun. Dropping back. Looking for a receiver. Passes it out to the left. It's broken up. He got his hand in there to knock it down. You know, he did what you're taught to do. And that's take away the ability for the receiver to catch a ball. He can't catch it when you knock it down. The defense can't afford to take too many gambles. by going for a pick when they should just try and knock it down. One mistake can lead to a big play for the offense. Looking to pass, looking for an option. Going deep, and the catch is made. Robertson records the tackle at the 29-yard line. Peyton Manning went over 100 yards passing on that play. They can run about anything here in the next couple of downs. I'm sure they'd like to get a touchdown out of it, and that'd be a real boost for them going into the half. Quick drop. Tosses it right. And it's caught. Manning finds his man and throws his second touchdown of the game. And it's up. The extra point attempt is good. Congratulations to the fans sitting in section 19, row 12. Vanderjack will be kicking off. For two. He sends it off. He takes this one upfield. Loses one tackle. Loose ball. Thus. Let's get back to the play on the field. If they don't want to go into the half down by this much, they're going to need some good throws and good clock management here. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 24. Good pass, good pass. Set, cut. Looking down 
midfield. Surveying the field. Dilfer rolls out to his right, throwing. And he's only able to hang on to that one. Thank you, just took his eyes off that one. There's only one way that they're going to be able to do something about this score. Keep throwing and getting out of bounds. Melissa, what have you heard on the sidelines about that injury? Good news, Al. The trainer said he did sustain an injury, but it doesn't appear to be anything serious. His return is probable. Thanks, Melissa. That's very good news. Passing right. Jackson, the intended receiver. The defender reached him just as he was throwing on that play. He really had to rush that throw. That was a situation where the defensive line made the job easy for the defensive backs. I'll tell you, here's a defensive lineman's dream. Third and long, and he knows they have to pass. Hits the target with the pass. A powerful arm display on that pass. What a throw. He put everything he had into that one. And now they have a fresh set of downs to work with as they try to get some points before the half. First and ten. Seven. Nickelback in this time. He's looking to pass. He's looking. Dilfer throws. Hits the target with the pass. Timeout. Ball by the other. That's their final timeout. Until they get into the end zone, they'll probably go with a no huddle. First and ten. Set. Four linemen and three linebackers lined up defensively. He's looking. Number eight with the pass. Hits his man with the pass. Washington stopped him for his third tackle so far. Hey. Melissa, what can you tell us about his injury? Good news, Al. The trainer said he did sustain an injury, but it doesn't appear to be anything Set. serious. So his return is probable. Thanks, Melissa. That's very good news. He finds his man. He rifled it out there. That guy's always had a great arm. That's something you can't hey. beat. Set, cut. Dropping back. Surveying the field. Number eight rolls out to his left. Gets rid of it. Broken up. Hey. Second down. Goal to go. Seven yards to the goal line. Set. Calling an audible now. Drops back. Looking for a receiver in the middle. Mealy was the intended target. That's the end of the That's second the quarter with the score. Indian score. Back to the field. Seattle needs to rebound as the third quarter gets underway. Smith in to kick this one off. He kicks it off. The wedge is set up. The Seahawks take over on offense at the 21-yard line. Melissa, anything new from the sideline? Well, Al, the Seahawks coach thought his team blew way too many chances in the first half, and that's why they're behind. With the way his offense has moved the ball, though, he believes they can get a few big plays to turn this game around, Al. Thanks, Melissa. The 50, the 40, the 30, the 20, the 10. He threw a great pass, and they get into the end zone. The quarterback knew that he had to make that pass perfect, and he got the job done on that one. Welcome back. And it's on its way. The extra point attempt is good. A good looking drive, and they score the touchdown. The offensive unit should be very pleased with their performance on that one. Big players make big plays, and that scores touchdown. Give some credit to the linemen out there. They're the biggest guys in the field, and without them, and no one gets into the end zone. He's trying to give his team good field position. Well, he's shaken up after that play, and we'll get you a report from the sideline when we get the information. So they have first and ten here. Change, change, switch it up. Come 
Attacking the throw. Throws it. And they're able to connect on that one. Breaking free. And he's brought down at the 41 yard line. Attention fans. Please refrain from throwing. First and 10. They'll go with a pass. Passing to his right. Nice connection. He loses it. The Seahawks grab the live ball. Great play by the defense to recover the fumble. Yeah, they were right there to jump on the ball. Great. First and ten. Dilfer gets set. Looking for blocker. Just won't go down. And it looks like they'll mark it at the 42. That run didn't get them much. Yeah, there was a defender in every gap ready to make the tackle on that play. So they're almost within their kicker's range. Set, set. Dropping back. Stepping up. Passing. Hits his man with the pass. Harper makes the tackle at the 39. Right. Melissa, what have you heard down there? I was able to talk to the team doctor, Al, and he indicated that it's a minor injury. They expect it'll take a series or two off, then return to the field. Thanks, Melissa. That's very good news. He surveys the field, and it's complete. He didn't have to make any adjustments to come up with that catch. A few more like that, this guy's going to be in the All-Madden team. First and ten. Four-man front this time. He comes it away. And he's brought down at the 21-yard line. That time, the offense ran. It's important to pound the defense with a run. Sooner or later, they're going to bend. About six to go. Four-man front this time. Dropping back, he surveys the field. Dilfer rolling over to his right. Deep pass. The pass does not find its target. It was an easy pass. How in the heck did he miss it? It's third down and six to go. Dropping back. Rolls out to his left. Gets rid of it. And he makes the grab. And a great throw for the touchdown. Yeah, he threw that where only the receiver can get it. The kick is up. The point after is good. And the coaching staff is happy after that drive. Touchdowns against this defense aren't easy to come by. Hey, these guys deserve to feel good about it. Now it's the defense's number turn to come out and do its job. He gets the kick away. He gets under the kick and fields it cleanly. They'll begin this drive from the 30-yard line. So they have first and ten here. Ball on their own 30. Over there, over there. Heward under center. So he's called for encroachment. Yeah, he jumped early and touched an offensive player, and that forces the officials to blow the whistle. Five yards to go. Four linemen and three linebackers lined up defensively, using motion. Rhodes looking for a seam, looking for room to the outside, and he's brought down at the 44-yard line. He really covered some good ground there. And here's a guy with great speed who can pick up the first and keep the ball moving downfield. Throws it. And it's caught. 
Springs makes the play at the 37. Number 85 is there for the catch, his first of the game. First and 10. Ball on the 37-yard line. Using motion. Looking to run it here. Evans stopped him for his third tackle so far. Five-yard game. They're in field goal range. Finds his man. Five. He touchdown. flings it into the end zone for the touchdown. The receiver had to make that catch. That could hit him right between the numbers. And it's up. The extra point attempt is good. And so the offense puts together a very nice touchdown drive. John, I think that drive is exactly what the offensive coordinator was looking for and hoping for. I think the whole team's happy after that one. They're probably telling their defense to give them the ball back so they can go score again. He sends this one toward the end zone. Williams is heading upfield. And we'll see if they can move the ball as well through the air this time as they did after scoring a touchdown on their last possession. Right. Melissa, what have you heard? Good news, Al. The trainer said he did sustain an injury, but it doesn't appear to be anything serious. His uh, is uh, Melissa, thanks for the update. Sounds like he'll be back very soon. Couldn't find much of a hole, and he's brought down after a gain of what looks like a couple. Yeah, you talk about push. This line got no push at all, and there was nowhere to go. Right. They need seven. Ball on their own 32. Set. Dilfer Who sets up, Timo? calling an Come audible back. now. Dropping back. Throws over to his right. He finds his man. That reception moves the chains, and they pick up a first down. With an arm like that, there isn't a pass that he can't make. Right. So they have first and ten here. Set. Dropping back. He's looking, passing right. Nice connection. It helps to have soft hands to bring in a hard throw like that one. Heck, that guy better count his fingers to make sure they're all there after catching up. Right. They're just about in field goal range. Ball on the 40-yard line. Set, uh, Alexander looking for room. Freeney with the tackle at the 32. You know what? You wear down the defense with this kind of running game. Right. Second and about one. So we've reached the end of the third quarter with the Indianapolis Colts ahead of the Seattle Seahawks. 35, 21. The teams are set for the fourth quarter of play. They're in field goal range. Back to pass. Surveying the field. Rolling left. Throws it. He was out of bounds. You know, as a receiver, you have to be aware of so many things. Where the first down marker is, where the defenders are, and where the sideline is as you stretch out to make that catch. And this is the fifth play of this drive. Evans gets the call. Number 91 makes the tackle at the 28-yard line. About a five-yard pickup for the first down. When you're back and get good chunks of yardage like that, you know who to give it to when you need a first down. So they have first and 10 here. Ball on the 28-yard line. Dropping back. Throwing left. Gets his hand on it. He really felt pressure there. I'm not sure how they got through, but the defense really wanted the quarterback. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 28-yard line. They'll go with a pass. Surveying the field. Rolls right. Dilfer throws. Great catch. He stepped up, made a terrific throw, and it went for the touchdown. Yeah, that guy knew exactly how far he had to go to cross the goal line to get in there for the score. Another touchdown pass gives him two in the game. More points on the board, John. Like the old West down there. And 
it's on its way, and he taps on the extra point. Well, you can't ask for much more out of a drive that gets you into the end zone. The more touchdown drives, the better. Now they'll go back to the sidelines and see why they were able to beat the defense for six. And they'll try and repeat those results the next time they get the ball. He sends it off. Number 85 is looking for a nice return. They'll head back onto the field looking to duplicate their last drive when they were able to get the ball into the end zone, basically through their passing game. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 27. With an extra DB, the defense is in the nickel. Cut, cut, cut. Cut. Switch, switch. Cut, cut. Cut. Hewitt gives the ball off. Simmons brings him down at the 28-yard line. Right. It's second down and nine to go. Ball on their own 28. Hands it off. He's to the 40. And he's brought down at the 48-yard line. Beautifully designed play there, John. Anytime you can get a run like that for a first, it does a lot for your whole offense. I wouldn't be surprised to see some sort of play pass to build off that big game. Rhodes looking for block. Juke move. Robertson laid a good hit on him there for his fifth tackle of the game. So they're almost within their kicker's range. Number 84 goes in motion. up into the pocket. Throw it. Number 85. Could make the catch. They're just about in field goal range. He gets the count. Looking for blockers. And the defender brings him down at the 39. One yard to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. Smith lines up in the backfield for the punt. with a lot of success through the air on the last drive as they move downfield for the touchdown. Right. It's first and ten. Set. Cut. Looking to turn it upfield. Loses one tackler. Number 97 makes the tackle at the 24-yard line. Two minutes to the final gun. Need six. Set. With an extra DB, the defense is in the nickel. Back. Back to pass. Looking for an option. Dilfer rolls right. Throwing. Hits his man with the pass. The receiver found a hole in the secondary, and the quarterback found him with the pass. The defense could never let up out there. This guy can make some incredible catches. Right. So they have first and ten here. Ball on their own 34. Four linemen and three linebackers lined up defensively. Sword comes up big for the defense, dropping the quarterback. Yeah, and the quarterback just had to take the hit. And that took a lot out of him.
Four linemen and three linebackers lined up defensively. He's looking. Dilfer lets it fly. He couldn't get it to his man. And you want to lead the receiver so that he can catch and run. But you don't want to lead him that much. They'll be faced with a long third down play here. Just over a minute still to go. He surveys the field with the pass. And the catch is made. And he's tackled at the 48-yard line. And so he was able to fire that one to his receiver, converting for a first down. He was either going to catch it or he was going to get knocked out by it. The quarterback trying to get his team closer here on first down. And it's every quarterback's dream to drive his team down and throw the touchdown that brings him back. I'll tell you, he wants nothing more than to do that right here. He's going to throw. He goes to the left side. Williams was the intended target. A good pass, but no catch. There's just no excuse for that. He's getting paid a lot of money to make those catches. You got to think they'll be going with something in the air here. Conserving time while moving downfield for the score. Second and ten. Four linemen and three linebackers lined up defensively. Looking downfield, Dilfer passes to his left. He led him a bit too far. There was no way he was going to get to that one. Ball at about midfield. Seventh play of this drive. Drops back, looking for an option. Rolling right. Tosses it right. Hits his man with the pass. A display of good concentration by the receiver. If he can make catches like that regularly, he can expect to see more passes thrown in his direction. Time is a factor, but I think they can still use the middle of the field. Drops back. Surveying the field. He reaches the quarterback. Timeout. Call by the office. They have two timeouts remaining. Second down now. They have to get closer to the end zone. So they're almost within their kicker's range. Four-man front this time. He's going to throw. He surveys the field. Passing to his left. Nice completion. And he's brought down at the 13-yard line. Timeout. Call by the offense. They have one timeout remaining. Down inside the 15. Four-man front this time. Drops back. Gets rid of it. Alexander just couldn't find a way to come up with that one. They need that touchdown. So I'd expect him to keep passing here. It's second down and ten to go. Looking downfield. Looking for an option. Gets rid of it. And he makes the grab. Trent Dilfer just gunned it in there for the score. Yeah, the defenders were looking one way while the play was going the other. So he found his target, and for the third time, it goes for a touchdown. Seems like the offense can score any time they have the ball. On both sides. Defender broke that play up. The two-point conversion fails. You never want to go for two unless you absolutely need it. The success rate is usually low. Fiegel is trying for the onside kick. Number 85 and number 42 to receive. They're going to try to recover the onside kick. Penalty marker down in the field. Illegal procedure. Kicking team. Number 10. And a kneel down here ends the game since the defense can't stop the clock. Right. First and 10. Hey, hey, hey! Watch the run, watch the run! The Colts holding on by less than a field goal. One more kneel down, and they have the win. Flag down. 
The defense is hurting themselves with penalties. Hey, the defense looks a little anxious out there. They need to do a better job of concentrating to prevent dump penalties like that one. And this game is over. The final score is Indianapolis 35, Seattle 34. On behalf of EA Sports, John Madden and Melissa Stark, this is Al Michael saying goodbye and inviting you to join us in our next presentation of Madden NFL 2003.